Number 36, suggest four ways in which the concentration of hydrazine, which is N2H4, could be increased in an equilibrium described by the following reaction. And then they give us the reaction here with the delta H. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just write out this reaction. So I got N2 gas plus 2H2 gas. And this comes to equilibrium, double arrow with the hydrazine, N2H4, and that's also a gas. Okay, now the first thing that I do, right, is whenever they're talking about, you know, equilibrium and changing concentrations, welcome to Le Chatelier's principle. This is Le Chatelier's principle in a nutshell, so we're going to run through the whole thing, but the first thing that I would suggest is don't worry about the number that they gave you for the delta H, just put this in terms of the heat. Remember, delta H is a heat value. Now, this delta H was a positive number. Do I really care that it's positive 95? No, I just care that it's positive. And remember, a positive delta H is an endothermic value. That means that you absorbed heat. So whenever you see a positive delta H, it's endothermic, it's absorbing heat, and that is always going to be on the reactant side. So as like a little helpful guide, just say plus heat on what side you have the heat on. The heat on the reactant side is a endothermic reaction. If we had the heat on the product side, that would be an exothermic reaction, and the number here would be a negative value. Now let's get down to business. We now need to suggest four ways in which the N2O4 could be increased. So the goal is to increase this guy. Okay, so that's that's the goal. We need to increase N2H4. We're going to run through all of our Le Chatelier principle information and just come up with ideas in which we can increase this. Now before we do that, let's just figure out which reaction we need to go. Are we doing the forward reaction or are we doing the reverse reaction? Keep in mind that you want to produce this, so you always go to that side. So we want to shift to the right or proceed in the forward direction. Okay. So now we need to come up with ideas in which we can shift to the right. Let's start with concentration. If you increase something, right? You have way too much of it. You always need to get back to the normal amount. So if you accidentally, ooh, what happened here? So if you accidentally, or if you purposely added too much of something, you will always shift to the opposite side. So look here, guys, if we want to shift to the right, I should add these because you see how I'm going to the other side. I'm not going to the same side. So that's one of Le Chatelier's principle. If you add something, you will shift to the other side. So since these are the reactants, and if I add one or two of these, I will go to the other side. So we just hit two birds with one stone. So I'm just going to use this as bullets. I can add or increase the N2 gas, and maybe I'll just say we can increase. So if I jack up the amount of N2 gas, that will make me shift towards the opposite side, and then I would produce N2H4. Another one is since these are both reactants, I can increase the amount of H2, and that will also shift to the product side. So maybe I won't even say gas here. So we already got two out of the four ways. Let's maybe move to another thing. Let's talk about temps because we, we do see that we have heat over here. So let's see, we got a favor, one or the other, in which I will shift this way. Am I going to increase the temperature or decrease the temperature? Let's see. If I increase the temperature, this principle states that it's way too hot, right? And when it's way too hot outside, you want to go away from the hot. 
Like, for example, if it's really, really hot outside, right? Me personally, I want to go into the AC. So if it's too hot, you will shift away from the heat. Literally, find the word heat. If it's too hot, you will go away from this word. You will not go towards this word, right? So if you increase the temperature and the heat's over here, you will go away. And look, that will also increase. It's the same arrow as what we were saying before. So I could also increase the temp. So that's three out of the four ways. Now we just need one more. Maybe let's talk in terms of volume. We could do it in temp uh, pressure as well. Doesn't matter. If you decrease the volume, you increase the pressure. That's coming from our understanding of pressure and volume. They're always indirect from each other. But I just like to look at it in terms of volume. Let's see. We talk about space, literally the size of the container, right? If you have less space, you always shift to the less mole side. But if you have more space, more volume, you will always shift to the more uh, mole side. And just know that this is gas. We only care about the gases. So let's just see which side. Does the reactant side or the product side have more moles of gas? Well, I got nothing in front of this N2. That means that I have one of them. And I have a 2 in front of the H2. These are both gases, so I take that into consideration. I got 1 plus 2. I have a total of 3 moles of gas on my reactant side. But when I come over to the N2H4, I don't see a number in front of here. That means that there's 1. And I only have one mole of gas on my product side. So this is less than this. The product side is less moles. Maybe I'll just say M-O-L-S. So if I want to go towards the side with less moles, are we going to be decreasing the volume or increasing the volume? Yeah, the less mole side is less space. That's decreasing the volume. So I could say that we can decrease the volume. And then if you want to give one more way, decreasing the volume just means increasing the pressure. So you could have said that we could have also increased the pressure. So I outdid them. I did five ways, but that's it. So this is Le Chatelier's principle in a nutshell. We'll do tons more problems with Le Chatelier. This one was kind of like a big introduction. So hopefully this helped, okay? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Um, let's keep, you know, learning. This, this is going to be okay, all right? It may seem overwhelming at now, but just promise me, just run through the, the videos, and we'll take it one step at a time, okay? All right, I'll see you in later lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.